ragazzi e benvenuti in questo nuovo video, siamo qui con Clara dall'Australia e oggi parliamo un po', facciamo qualche domanda, farò qualche domanda a Clara in inglese che così potete anche voi un po' praticare il vostro inglese e vedere se capite un po' quello che dice e quindi facciamo un po' di listening oggi e vi metterò anche i sottotitoli qui sotto in modo che potete, possiate comunque seguire un po' meglio e farò qualche domanda a Clara in particolare sulle differenze tra l'Australia e l'Italia eh, come funziona un pochino magari il sistema universitario in Australia perché magari può interessare a qualcuno e qualche domanda così sull'Australia in generale per chi magari potesse essere interessato a poter andare a vivere lì Ok, so Clara, thank you so, so much for being here with us. Um, so what do you think is the main difference between Italy and Australia? Well, there's definitely a big difference in the food. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of fast food, like there's McDonald's on every corner okay. of every suburb. Okay. Yeah. It's a very American. <laughs> it's very American, yes. And But you have a lot of people coming from Italy, Greece, you mean know, a lot of immigrants, so you should have a, like really good food as well. Yes, not? there's like a huge variety of food because it's definitely a really multicultural. Like we have cultures from all over the world. Yeah. Indian, um, Chinese, Thailand, like food from everywhere, so you can choose whatever you like. I personally love Asian food. Yeah, that's so. nice. Yes, that's my go-to, you know, restaurant, actually. Okay, uh, I just forgot to tell you and so the people that are watching can know where are you from in Australia? Oh, yes. I'm from Melbourne. Melbourne. So I think that's probably the most multicultural city in all of Australia. More than Sydney. Definitely. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. And how is the, the, the climate there? It's very, one day it will be like really hot and then the next day it will be cold, it's not consistent. Like, okay. Not like if you go higher up in Australia, it's hot all the time, even in winter. But in Melbourne it's just, it's unpredictable. You have to, you don't know what to wear, you have to bring a jacket and pants <laughs> and then shorts just in case it gets hot because it might be cold and then hot. And okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, how is to live in Melbourne? It's really expensive. How the students are doing? I mean, how how is is it really easy for students to live there? If some of the people that are watching would like to maybe go and do some, I don't know, do an, ex an experience there, so study English or even go to university. How does it work? Um, well, it's pretty expensive in Melbourne, so be prepared. Um, like things like rent, it's expensive. But if you go to uni, you don't have to pay anything upfront. The government pays for you to go to uni first. And then when you start working, when you graduate, you pay back your uni fees through um, taxes. So that's. Is it the same for international students? No. So this is only for home students, basically, yeah, it's only for that's Australian. Right. That's so right. for international students, the fees might be higher, actually. Yeah. So maybe yes. if you want to come to Australia, stay, work for a few years or something, try and get your permanent residence or citizenship, and then you can access the government scheme. Otherwise, it is very, very expensive to study. So I okay. probably wouldn't recommend Unless you have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, usually how much is the rent per, per month? Is it calculated by month, by week? <clears throat> how does it work? Um, so it's by week. By week. And we have like this website called Flatmates. You can put it down here. Okay, so it's like Craigslist in America and probably like Gumtree in the UK. Something Possibly, similar. I'm yeah. not sure about yeah. that. But anyway, it's just someone is looking for a roommate and they'll put up an ad and you can apply for it. So it's basically, usually students live in a house with, with like lots of rooms and there'll be different students in the rooms and they'll rent it out to different students. And how much That's, is the rent so per week? The rent per week is usually um, $200 a week, like around that, more or less. In the city center, in outside, in the suburb area, or um, you can you can find somewhere for two hundred dollars near the city. Okay. How how much is near? I mean, how 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 far is near? Um, 
it's gonna be like around Maybe. 30 minutes by bus or even more. even less less like um, I live 15 minutes from the city and okay. I could possibly rent out a room for $200 a week okay so okay convenient. and how about transport do you have to take the transportation I mean do you have the tube like the underground or there's no underground we don't have an oh, underground oh okay no. Sydney has it right I yeah, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're working on like implementing that, but I I don't know when. Or I don't even know if okay. it's going to happen. So you take the bus usually. There's bus, there's train, there's tram. We still have oh, the train, okay. but it's just it, it's a bit inconvenient for traffic because oh, it's not okay. underground. And what so about the bicycle? Would you um, be able to go to the city center by bicycle, or you, you can? Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of people that do, but I personally am scared of the roads. Yeah, like I've heard of a lot of accidents and things, and I ride my bike around here in Italy because I feel safe and it's comfortable. But in Australia, I personally wouldn't ride my bike just because I don't feel comfortable. Okay, <laughs> and your personal like it? Do you like Italy or Australia the most? <laughs> <laughs> I know that it's difficult to compare like a big city with a small city because we live here, mm -hmm. we are outside Venice, so in a really small town. However, if you would be living in a bigger city like Venice or even Milan, would you prefer to live in Italy or Australia and why? Um, it's really different and as you know I live in Melbourne so it's a big city, but I do prefer Italy simply because I like the people, everyone's like so friendly and I like the language, I think it sounds like really nice, nicer than English. <laughs> And I just like the way that people talk and they use their hands like this. <laughs> and then, so yeah, I like the food. I like how everything is so close. Australia is so big and everything, it just takes like, so long to get to one place to the other. It's inconvenient. Whereas here, yeah, everything is just, it's right there. You can find whatever you're looking for, just like that. And I think you also have really good schooling, good education. Whereas in Australia, it's like a mix of public and private and the public schools are just terrible. So you need to have money in Australia. If you want to go to a good school, you need to go to a private school. Okay, that's you're talking about university? Everything, Everything. primary school, okay. high school, and university. Okay, and what about the job? Because a lot of people are going to Australia in the thinking that they get, might get a really good job and a good future, because here in Italy, uh, in the last years the job situation is getting worse and worse and so many people decide to go to Australia and migrate there but is it the same as 10 years ago? I mean people that are coming to Australia are now uh, able to find a really good job in Australia or not really? Um, it depends on if you have a degree or not because Australia does take people in that have, you know, can bring something to Australia career-wise if you have a degree but if you don't uh, you're mainly just doing like uh, waitering, waitressing, jobs like that. So in terms of a good job, not really. But if you're looking to make money, the wages are pretty high. So even waiters get a decent so how, wage. So how much is the minimum wage or the wage that a waiter will get per, per year or not per year? Per per hour, month? I can, oh, per hour, per hour yeah. I can probably say it's at least $15. $15. Okay, so thank you so much Clara for your time and for everything you told us and I hope that this will help a lot of people. Quindi ragazzi speriamo intanto che vi sia piaciuto il nostro video e che sia stato utile per il listening e quindi ad ascoltare anche qualcuno che ha un accento un po' diverso magari dal classico accento inglese o americano perché l'accento australiano comunque è leggermente diverso da quello inglese. Um, e soprattutto speriamo che le risposte che vi ha dato Clara siano state utili per capire un po' come funzionano le cose anche in Australia e se avete qualsiasi domanda potete scriverci qui sotto vi lasciamo tutte le, le informazioni e a presto ciao bye, bye.